In this section, we're going to demonstrate checkpoints application and URL filtering and the capabilities to filter for certain operations within the application. We have set in a policy to block access to social networking and present a block page using the user check. Admins can customize the end user message to inform and educate the user regarding corporate policy about accessing forbidden sites such as gambling sites or social networking platforms. Now let's make it interesting and change the policy to allow limited access to Facebook and only block certain operations such as file upload. We will remove the category from the rule and switch to application control widget. In this case, we'll select specific operations such as downloading, file sharing, posting, and etc. We also add specific zoom actions, restricting upload or sharing through this application. Now that the rule is ready, let's try to access Facebook. Success! But if I try to post something, the action will be blocked. If I try to show sensitive information, it won't let me. If I try to share any corporate document through Zoom chat, the action is blocked because it is restricted in the policy. In order to enforce more feeds containing IP addresses, domains, or both that are not part of the predefined updatable object, we introduced a new object in R8120 called Network Feed. We will click the plus icon to add the object and choose Network Feed from the new button. This allows users to enforce external feeds located on HTTP and HTTPS servers. It works with lists of IP addresses or domains and with JSON files. We copy and paste the URL we use for this demo to the object and test it by selecting the relevant gateway. Network feed is now configured. Now, let's take a look at application controls for Office 365. The first is with an updatable object to refer to the IP address hosting the Office 365. These objects allow us to identify in real time the IPs obtained via API from Microsoft's own pair region bases. These objects are available for Zoom, WebEx, Okta, AWS, Azure, geolocations, and many more. The second control is using the predefined Office 365 widgets. We'll go ahead and select the one needed to allow emails only access. 